name is Mercy Wiscomi, and I'm a student major in material science engineering at the University of Michigan. This summer, I participated in SHER with Professor Rachel Bowman as my sponsor, and my project was developing varying temperature scanning thermoelectric microscopy. A thermoelectric generator is a solid state device used to convert heat directly into electricity. They work by building up a temperature gradient between the two sides of the generator. The electrons at the hot end have more energy and will move towards the cold end which will become more negatively charged. This temperature difference creating a voltage is called a thermoelectric effect. Semiconductors are materials that have this type of conducting property. TE generators are often used to recover waste heat. For example, many space probes including the Mars Curiosity rover use a TE generator with a radiation heat source. TE generators also can have applications for waste heat recovery from exhaust in vehicles. Unfortunately, a major limitation to the widespread use of TE devices is their efficiency, which is typically about 5 to 10 percent. The TE device efficiency is defined by the figure of merit ZT. ZT can be significantly enhanced by enhancing the Seebeck coefficient in electrical conductivity or reducing thermal conductivity. The Seebeck coefficient measures the magnitude of an induced thermoelectric voltage in response to a temperature difference across the material. Nanostructured materials have been proposed as a means to increase the Seebeck coefficient without increasing the thermal conductivity. In this work, we propose to reveal the mechanisms related to nanostructuring using scanning thermoelectric microscopy to measure the Seebeck coefficient with nanometer resolution. In STEM, an unheated scanning tunneling microscopy atomically sharp tip acts as a high resolution voltmeter probe to measure the thermally induced local voltage V caused by a temperature gradient in the heated sample according to the Seebeck effect. This temperature gradient can be within a few to few tens of nanometer. Therefore, this technique can probe Seebeck effect with nanometer spatial resolution, which is suitable for studying thermoelectric effect of nanostructured materials. The first part of the project was modifying an existing scanning tunnel and microscope and adding new electronic parts for STEM. This is the STM. I've attached electrical feeders to provide the electrical connections for moving the stage for the tunneling current, applying a sample bias, tip annealing for a heater, thermometer, and so on. I installed a tip transfer arm to switch out the tips used to probe the sample. I attached a valve for pumping the chamber into vacuum and a venting port. The linear motion feeder is used to lock and unlock the sample stage, providing vibration isolation while scanning. I also etched tips for probing the sample in the STM using tungsten wire and a sodium hydroxide solution. A current is passed through the loops with a sodium hydroxide film to oxidize the tungsten at the top loop and etch two atomically sharp tips. The second part of the project was performing STM, STEM, and STS on nanostructured materials obtained through existing collaborations. Before hooking up all the electrical connections for performing an STM scan, we pumped on the chamber into vacuum using a turbo pump, shown here. In STM, a current is passed to the tip and sample, generating an image of the surface line by line. We can then pick a point on the image to perform STEM on. This is a scan of HOPG. The topography for the forward and backward scans are shown on the left top and bottom. The current for the scan is shown in the image on the right. This is a scan of gallium arsenide with indium islands. We would expect to see the indium islands as white dots in the topography since they are elevated, and also white in the conductance mapping since it has a higher conductance. The parameters are on the left for adjusting the X and Y offset, size of the scan, the current, voltage, and the scan rate. We are going to move the STM from the small chamber we've been testing it in into a bigger chamber with a port so we can see where the tip is relative to the sample. We're also going to add on more parts for STEM and for working under varying temperatures. I would like to thank Professor Rachel Goldman, Min Shang Lin, and Jenna Walworth for their mentorship and guidance throughout, and also the University of Michigan SHRE program for this great opportunity.